What is going on everybody? It is a beautiful day in Florida. My last day here in Florida. Um, as you can see from the title, this is a little different video. I don't know if the wind's bothering you guys right now, but I want to talk to you guys about something that's a little bit different than I typically talk about. It's not about cars. It's not about motorcycles. It's not about ATVs, but it is about something important and I want to share it with you guys. Um, and that is as you can see from the title, I'm really proud of this one, um, how I was able to buy and resell a 2013 Datejust 2 Rolex for $2,500 profit. Um, super, super cool, super unique, honestly. Um, and I wanna talk to you guys about how I did it in my story um, and really just show you guys or take you guys along on the whole process and how I even found it in the first place. So check this out. So as some of you guys already may know, I started buying and reselling things when I was 15 years old. Um, but this item was so much different. I'm in my dorm room. I became known at a young age for buying and reselling things for profit. It wasn't always motorcycles. It wasn't always cars. Um, I started when I was 15. So I started with a dirt bike, but I became known for this. So anytime a good deal would come up that, you know, someone knew was a good deal, but they couldn't get rid of it for some reason, or, you know, most people didn't have like $2,000 at the time for, they would text me or they'd call me. So one day I'm in my dorm room, my ex-girlfriend from like three years ago or four years ago, she calls me, she's like, hey Weston, uh, my parents, you know, they have a pawn shop. They were like, hey, they got a really good deal on a brand new, never worn 2013 Rolex Datejust. Do you wanna check it out? And I was like, yeah, of course, like how much? Cause these things are going for, if I remember correctly, around $13,000 new. So I knew if this thing was, you know, the Datejust 2 with the solid gold links and it's never been worn, I was like, this could be a really good potential flip. So we go down there, they're like, how much, I was like, how much do you want for it? Like, it's never been worn. It's got all the paperwork with it. I want $4,000 or I want $4,500. So I was already familiar with her parents and you know, they're really good at negotiating. They own a pawn shop. I knew not to lowball them too much because they will simply just say no and leave because they don't need to sell it. I knew they weren't in need of the money, but I knew it was a good deal right off the bat. This thing was worth $7,500 probably if I would have held onto it long enough and they're already asking 45. So I hit them with four. They instantly said yes. So I probably should have lowballed a little bit more, but it's okay. So I walk out of there with a $7,500 watch. I know that it will sell for at least 5K, at least 5K um, for four grand. Never even been put on a wrist. It was a gift from a uh, CEO of a company for one of his managers. And the guy said, I don't like watches. Don't engrave my name on it. I'm just gonna probably give it away. He got them for everybody um, that were you know up higher in the business and uh, he would just pawned it off to the pawn shop and you know they probably made a thousand dollars off of me but i knew that i could sell this thing so as soon as i got this watch i took it straight to sissy's log cab where they know what rolexes are worth and i have got it evaluated they're like it's probably worth sixty five hundred to seventy five hundred dollars and you know i was like okay this is awesome i can make you know two thousand three thousand dollars easy so I put it on consignment and you know, it's about to be Christmas time. I let it set for, I think two months and you know, no one was buying it. No one was buying it. And so I was like, okay, I was like, maybe it's not a good deal. So I was stumbling across this website called Bob's watches where they buy used Rolexes from you. So I was like, okay, let me see what they'll give me for this Rolex. This is like two months after I've let it sit already at a jewelry store on consignment. As I'm doing this, I called them and they said, if this watch is in as good a shape as you say it is, we will give you $6,500 for it right now. All you have to do is send it to us. That was a little skeptical because I was like, if I send this watch, they just don't pay me. What is going on? So I'm like, okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. So I hold off. I read some reviews. I read some reviews. And you know, what do you know? This website is reputable and it is good. So I send the watch off. They swear they're gonna send me 6,500. They actually sent me 6,400 because they said it needed to be refurbished, um, which is fine, $6,400. Um, I almost made $2,500 profit on a $4,000 little piece of jewelry um, by just buying it from a pawn shop and then selling it, mailing it to a online website that resells them um, for on top of what I even paid for it. So. I thought this was a really, really cool story that I wanted to share with you guys. This is exactly what we do on a daily basis in the Flipping Wheels group chat. It, and I just want to tell you guys, it's not just um, buying and reselling cars. I use the same concept, just knowing what this watch was worth 
by searching on Craigslist before I went and bought it to see what it was worth. And they were going from around six to seven to eight thousand dollars used. I, this one hasn't even been put on a wrist, but you have to still classify it as used because it is a 2013. So I knew if I got this for 4K, I would be golden. And you know, that is my story on how I sold a Rolex Date Just version two with the solid gold links for. 2500 actually 2400 dollars profit sorry guys um but i think that is such a cool story we use this similar concept with everything that we do everything that we teach and you know if you guys want to learn more click that first link down below sorry it's kind of loud guys there's a guy driving but um click that first link down below if you guys want to learn just a little bit more about this and if you guys want to follow me on instagram click the second link down below i'd love to answer any questions that you guys may have and i will see you guys in the next video keep flipping